So one swipe to capture, one touch to share. We will bring all of these Astra devices to people very soon. Just to give you some details on that, the Nokia Asha 500 with a 2 megapixel camera will be available for 69 US dollars. It will be available in a single SIM or an easy swap dual SIM configuration. And this quarter, we will be begin rolling out the Asha 500 in Africa, Asia Pacific, Europe, Latin America, and the Middle East. The Nokia Asha 502 with a 5 megapixel camera will be available for 89 US dollars. It will be available in an easy swap dual SIM configuration. And this quarter, we will begin rolling out the Asha 502 in Africa, Asia Pacific, Europe, and the Middle East. And then the Nokia Asha 503 with the 5 megapixel camera and 3G connectivity will be available for 99 US dollars. It will be available in a single SIM and a dual SIM configuration. And this quarter, we will begin rolling it out in Africa, Asia Pacific, Europe, Latin America, and the Middle East. The Asha family, standout designs at standout prices. Now, we love the compact, small, integrated design of Asha. But we also have a lot to share with you today about our Lumia product line. Since the fall of 2011, when we introduced our very first Lumia product, the Lumia 800, you have seen us introduce a broader succession of increasingly differentiated products. We have focused on great design, we focused on unparalleled imaging capabilities, integrated location-based services, and great features like screens that you can actually use in direct sunlight all of this to ensure that our products really stand out in the marketplace. Today, I would like to share with you how our Lumio, Lumia portfolio continues to grow, not just in the number or range of devices, but actually in size. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the next addition to the Lumia family, the Nokia Lumia 1520. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Nokia Lumia 1520. We have boosted the Lumia design to a large 6-inch screen. It is the clearest and sharpest display experience that Nokia has ever delivered. That's because for the first time, we are giving people a display that delivers a full 1080p high-definition video experience. Colors are rich and true, which brings more depth to images and more excitement to gaming and videos. We've also extended the traditional and very popular Lumia industrial design to this larger display. You see those same gentle curves and it feels so beautiful in your hand. And actually, the black version of the Lumia 1520 is made from recycled polycarbonate. So it's not only beautiful, but it's an environmentally responsible design. Now, I'd like to invite Prima Sung on stage to join me. Prima is the product marketing manager for the Lumia 1520. Hi, Stephen. Welcome, Prima. Thank you. Welcome. Now, you're going to see some great images and experiences projected on the screen behind us. Unfortunately, there's technical limitations, so it doesn't look quite the same there as it does in full beauty right on the screen in front of Prima. So make sure you check out the demo experiences later on today. Now, first of all, as you can see, we've collaborated with Microsoft on extending the design of the user interface. For the first time, we've added a new third column of live tiles. This means you can get to your favorite content faster and with less scrolling. There's much more room for people who like lots of tiles, which seems to be Prima's, or, sorry, your, uh, your predisposition here. And I love the fact that we can have a large number of larger tiles, which I like in particular because I can get more raw information showing up on the screen. We're the first ones to introduce this three-column capability on a six-inch display. 
Now, in addition to innovating on the six-inch screen, we continue to innovate on imaging. The Lumia 1520 delivers a brilliant imaging experience because we've added the latest and most advanced camera innovations to this device. We have put a new 20 megapixel pure view camera inside. It has enhanced sensor technology and it has optical image stabilization for great low light photography. It also has the latest in oversampling technology to capture more details in every picture we take. Now we're also introducing a new application called Nokia Camera. We have combined a lot of what you saw in the Lumia 1020, that being the smart, pro, and video modes, to create the world's best camera user interface, which we simply call Nokia Camera. Great name. Now, this is an easy way to capture the best pictures with the settings you like. So let's take a look. Sure. Let's go ahead and switch to my phone over here. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the Nokia Camera application. Now, you can see over here on the right hand side, there are three different icons. The Nokia camera brings together three different camera modes. So you can see on the right, three different icons, so I can easily toggle to different camera modes quickly. So right now we're in the camera mode, and I'm just going to tap on the bottom, which takes me straight to the smart mode. Now in smart mode, you can take a burst of images, and you can later on decide whether you want to remove unwanted objects, or if you want to change faces, or if you want to create a sequence of motion. Now let me toggle one more time, and that takes me to the video mode. And let's come back to the camera mode. So now, for those people who want easy access, quick and easy access to, to the most frequently used settings. We've added on the top of the viewfinder quick access. So on the top, you set A here, which is on auto mode. If I give it go, uh, one tap over here, it takes you to the night mode, which is optimized for low light conditions. If I go ahead and tap one more time, it takes me to the sports mode, which is then optimized for quick actions like a football match. Thank you. <laughs> Quick Someone like sports mode. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> now, we also appreciate that there are people who want to have more controls over their image qualities and settings. So we have added and bring back the familiar pro camera UI, which we have introduced with the Lumia 1020. Here you can see all the settings. If I'm going to go ahead and tap on the camera icon and slide out, so you'll be able to see all the settings directly in front of the viewfinder. And I'll be able to adjust the settings and see the changes directly there as well. So let me go ahead and demonstrate to you how do I change focus, for example. Now in front of me, I have a statue over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide up. And as you can see, the focus right now is on the foreground. If I continue to slide up, so you can see right in front of the viewfinder before I capture the photo that the focus has shifted to the background. Very cool. Yeah, so now let me put everything into practice and take a photo and show you how everything works. All right, let me put it back to auto. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to, there we go, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and I'm going to go ahead and tap to focus and take a photo. Now the wonderful thing is that I have zoomed in while I was taking the photo, but at any point of time I can simply double tap and go back to the full resolution. And with that, I'm able to go ahead and reframe to show a different side of story. Oh, this looks quite nice, the framing. Or I can choose to focus on uh, perhaps the camel. I can do all of this from one single high resolution. Now, this is really making photo taking fun and easy for people. Very cool. That ability to zoom preserved in the PureView 20 megapixel camera here. Very Absolutely. cool. Now, you've been focusing on the technical side of the photos, but people love to share the emotional aspect mm -hmm. of the photos as well. So we recently encouraged our HERE location-based services team to work with our PureView imaging team to think about what the next step could be in their collaborative work. And together, they've created something entirely new for our Lumia products. I'd like to introduce you to a new experience called Nokia Storyteller. Storyteller is a new application from Nokia. 
that automatically integrates your pictures and videos with here location-based information in order to create a chronological journey of your story. No more file folders and complex file names. We all have stories to tell, and we believe stories are made even better on a large display smartphone, as we're about to show you. So Prima and I went on a little photo shoot. We happen to be in Paris for this, so why don't we show this and test yep. out Storyteller? Sure. Let's switch back to my phone over here. So now, I'm already in the Nokia Storyteller application, and it has already automatically created a story based on the photos that I've taken with Stephen. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to tap on the cover photo. It takes me straight to the story. Now, we start up pretty early in the morning. I think it we was did. 7 a.m. Yes. local time. And one of the things that I really like about the Storyteller is that it truly brings your photos to life. It automatically plays animated photos like Cinemagraph. And I have an example here, so I'm going to show you. Well, this is of Stephen taking a, a selfie of himself. <laughs> Quite fun. And it also automatically plays smart photos, like an action shot. I also have an example for you. What you just saw is that the not storyteller plays out this, the sequence of the motions. And what happens here is that I was walking behind a tree and Stephen magically appears from out of nowhere. The idea is that you should really be able to be creative and have fun with your photos. Now, there's another thing that I really love about the storyteller. is that at any point of time, I know exactly where the photo was taken. And I can do so simply by zooming out on the photo. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Thank you. You can see exactly where this photo is taken on the here maps. We were actually at the very busy intersections of Sean's LSE. There were traffics coming left, right, and center, and Stephen almost got ran over by a car. But I got the picture. <laughs> yes, he got the picture, but he almost got ran over by a car. And speaking of traffic and loud noises, we have added reach recording with four microphones to the Lumia 1520. And with that, there are great benefits that I want to show you. To do that, we left the BC tra traffic of Paris behind us and we moved to the park to the right. So now, let's show you this. With four microphones, not only can you capture crystal clear audios, but you can also capture directional stereo audio. So take a listen. you just saw was I was standing right in the middle as the musician was walking around me. You could hear how clearly the four microphones captured the audio from different directions as he was going to my left, to my back, and coming back all to the right. Now this is really taking video capture to a completely new level. Now after that we were just kind of wondering ah, around the BC streets of Paris, wondering where we should go next. Well, I can just pinch zoom back out and see where I was on the map. And you see there are these little black bubbles on the maps. They are actually points of interest. With deep integration with the Here Maps database, we are able to pull points of interest from the back end database. And let's try. I'm going to go ahead and tap open this one on the bottom, right here. Ah, it's the Louvre Museum. And we just realized the Louvre Museum is just right around the corner. So as you screw up, you'll be able to find contact information, directions, opening hours, pictures, and user reviews, all directly from Storyteller. And what it helps you to do that is that you can have a much richer and much more interactive experience, not only when you're capturing those photos, but also afterwards when you're sharing that with your family and friends. So after that, we decided to move over to the Louvre and then take some more pictures of the beautiful monuments around that. And then we came around, came around this bridge just around the corner. They were just full of locks, so many locks on, on the bridge. Do you know why people put locks on the bridge? I'll tell you. 
Look at that imaging. Look at that. It's beautiful. Well, legend has it that if a couple put their names on the lock, they would stay together forever. Now, isn't that lovely? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I know. I was hoping for that. <laughs> and I love these images, so I want to save and share them. With a 32 gigabyte internal memory and expendable memory card slot of up to 64 gigabytes, I can store them on the device, and I can also share them really easily to my favorite social networks. For example, I can share videos in a new way. For the first time, Truth Divine is coming to Windows Phone 8. Correct. So that means people can now capture, <laughs> create, and share short looping videos on Truth Divine. Now that's pretty awesome. That is awesome. And I'm also very excited to share that later this year, you can post these same great images to Instagram. Fun. <laughs> We and the team at Microsoft have been working very closely with the Instagram team to bring their application to the Windows Phone ecosystem. Instagram will be available on Windows Phone in the coming weeks, so we're very excited about that. Now, these are examples of some of the images that Prima and I took, but you know what? We're not the pros in this, so we wanted to actually put Storyteller to a real test. So we invited a professional. We invited Steven Alvarez, who has been a National Geographic photographer since 1995, and we asked him to take Storyteller on one of his adventures here in Abu Dhabi. I'd like to invite Steven Alvarez to join us up here on stage. Please welcome him. Thank you, Steven. Thank you. For over a decade, I've had the privilege of traveling the globe for National Geographic magazine and telling visual stories. But we're all storytellers. Stories are how we give meaning to our lives. Increasingly, it's the mobile phone that we use to tell those stories. In my job, I've been able to use a phone for so many things, communication, research, notes, navigation, and now, finally, photography. Let me take you through a few images from the last couple of days in Abu Dhabi that I've made with the Lumia 1520. This is a really good camera. The 1520 lets me look, take in a huge scene, capturing all the detail and subtlety with resolution to spare. This thing is screamingly fast. I don't know what's under the hood, but autofocus, auto exposure, everything happens super quick. I saw this image out of the corner of my eye, spun and fired. It captures moments perfectly. That speed comes in handy shooting something like these guys unloading a fishing boat. I can wait for them to be in the right place, then fire the camera. But check out the detail of the man in the back, or this one's face. Incredible resolution on this camera, pictures within pictures. The 1520's big screen comes in handy when framing pictures like this, where I'm trying to put all the elements in the right place. It helps to see things that big. Also, the camera's dynamic range is amazing. It captures everything from the brightness of the sun to the depths of these shadows. And speaking of shadows, mobile phone photography has traditionally suffered in low light. Well, not anymore. This camera shines when the sun goes down. This opens up whole new photographic worlds. F the full other half of the day is open. It lets me photograph the night just like I see it. And seeing is what this is all about. Thank you. Stephen, thank you. <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful images. And if you want to see more of that, go to nationalgeographic.com slash Nokia, where more of Stephen's work is available, including some pictures he took of the American Southwest with the Lumia 1020. Now, the six-inch screen also creates a great experience for business applications on the go. I happen to be, unsurprisingly, a Microsoft Office power user. So let's switch to one of my phones here. 
Now, the larger format makes it really easy to use the full suite of Office applications. It's easy to read documents in OneNote, to do email, to edit Excel spreadsheets and scale them nicely. Let me just give you a quick example. I'm going into Excel. I can work with a full Excel spreadsheet here. I can zoom in, pan, do whatever I need to do on this device. It's just great for business applications. Thank you. Now, you can quickly, yes, it's great if you're into productivity. Now, you can also back up your documents. That's because as part of this product, we're including seven gigabytes of free and secure cloud service uh, via Microsoft SkyDrive. This way you can pick up and edit a document on the 1520, carry on on one of the other devices, and generally work on any of these documents with all of the different devices. Yep, Stephen. This is also great for Microsoft experiences that are a little bit more fun than Excel. More fun than Excel. Yes, there are things more fun than Excel. Xbox, which is something that I'm guessing you'll be learning a lot more about Quite in the coming more. months, is also great on the Lumia 1520. Inside the Lumia 1520, we have added a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor and its quad-core. So Xbox gaming becomes a faster and richer experience. So let me show you a quick game, if you can switch over to my phone over here now. All right, I'm going to make my parents proud of me. Go ahead and um, jump at the right time. There Temple we go. Temple run two. Oof. Your Temple mother is run proud. Two. Yes. <laughs> well, the truth is I can play this game all day long, but I think I should really focus so I can deliver the rest of the exciting news to you. Now, we have also included a screen with the best outdoor readability, so I can play Temple Run 2 under the bright Abu Dhabi sun and still be able to see my screen clearly. Now, we're also including with these devices another new interactive experience that we call Nokia Beamer. With Nokia Beamer, you can share your phone screen to any other internet-enabled screen through email, SMS, or social media. Yeah, that's right. The idea is that you can share your live screen to remotely to anyone. For example, I can share the photos that we, take, uh, we took in Paris with my parents in Hong Kong. And my parents can see the photos in Hong Kong as I, for example, flip through them here from Abu Dhabi. I can share my screen easily. <coughs> I can share my screen between my phone and my parents' computer. I can share my, phone, my screen of my phone with, uh, to my parents on their phone as well, too. Or I can share them to something new. Something new. Something new indeed. Indeed, if I may introduce to you another six-inch device that we're very proud of. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Lumia 1320. Check that out. The Lumia 1320 brings another large screen smartphone to people around the globe. The display is a 720p high definition screen and with a round, colorful, playful design, the 1320 is just great to hold. We have designed it in some particularly vibrant colors, as you can tell, including bright orange. Like the Lumia 1520, the Lumia 1320 is great for pictures and videos with Nokia Camera, Nokia Storyteller, and as, as we were talking about a moment ago, Nokia Beamer as well. Now, the Lumia 1320 enables fast connectivity with 4G LTE connectivity. As well, it's a great companion for Microsoft Office work on the go, for entertainment applications like Nokia Music and Xbox and so on. Now, we've designed it for a younger crowd with the colors. The Lumia 1320 is for people who really want to enjoy a large screen coupled with a 5 megapixel camera and a dual core processor. The 1320 is a great phone at a really great price. Amazing addition to the smartphone family. Prima, thank you very much for your help. Thank you. So we have two new six-inch screen devices, the Lumia 1320 and the Lumia 1520. Prima and I also showed you three new experiences that work on these devices, Nokia Camera, Nokia Storyteller, and Nokia Beamer. Additionally, we are giving people the latest Windows Phone update. This includes safe driving mode, a collection of new Bing applications like Bing Weather, Bing News, and Bing Finance, and customized ringtones for your contacts. Now what we're doing is bringing all of these innovations together into a single new software update for Lumia. 
We are combining the latest that you've seen from Nokia and the latest Windows Phone update into a single new software release that we're calling Lumia Black. Lumia Black will be available on the Lumia 1320 and the 1520, and we will also bring Lumia Black to all Lumia Windows Phone 8 devices starting early next year. Now, to give you a bit of details about pricing and availability, the Nokia Lumia 13 uh, 1320 will be available for 339 US dollars before taxes and subsidies. Early next year, we will begin rolling out the Lumia 1320 in China and Vietnam, and then we will expand to other Asian, European markets, and also India after that. The Lumia 1320 will be available in orange, yellow, black, and white. The Nokia Lumia 1520, this device, is going to be available for 749 US dollars before taxes and subsidies. Later this quarter, we will roll out the Lumia 1520 in Hong Kong, Singapore, and the United States. Then we will expand to China, France, Germany, the United Kingdom, and other European markets. The Lumia 1520 will be available in red, yellow, white, and black. Two new Lumia devices with larger screens. Two new ways to capture the world around you and many new experiences on the Lumia 1520 and Lumia 1320. These are some big developments for the Lumia family, but we can go even larger, and we are. The award-winning design, the breakthrough imaging innovation, and the new experiences that we have brought to you with Lumia smartphones